was my red stand. It was due yesterday. No, I'm, I'm sorry for the delay. Uh, that, yeah, and I've got it right here. This is $200 short. Hey, let me explain. You know, my, my pension payments are... Uh, uh, I'm tired of your excuses, old man. If you need the money, get out and work for it. No, it's separation. The price of food is... <laughs> it's out of control. Just give me a few more. You got 24 hours. What? I need the full amount by this time tomorrow, or you're gone. Oh, please, Greg. I've been living in this house for 22 years. Rent is due on the first. This is the last time you're being late. I can't lose my home. Where am I gonna go? Listen, we're all going through tough times right now. We gotta help one another. I got a dozen people who gladly pay double what you pay. Frank, if I'm losing money because you're living here. Pay up or you're out. Come on, have a seat. Oh, food smells amazing. Well, it's not often that I get to see my big brother. It's a special occasion. Oh, believe me. I haven't seen anybody lately other than ugh, annoying old tenants who are late on the rent and full of excuses. Well, times are tough for <laughs> everyone. So where's that wonderful niece of mine? Is everything okay? Yeah, Haley's at her father's house. Why? I thought you only had her on the weekend. It's Wednesday. She just had a lot of homework and she needed high-speed internet connection. What's wrong with your internet connection? I lost my job last week, Greg. Um, I had to make some cuts. And besides, it just makes sense that Haley would be at her father's place when she has homework. Mel, Mel, I'm sorry. I didn't know things were this bad for you. I'm holding my own, and that's what counts. Things have a way of working out. That is the spirit. Huh? You're tough. Runs in the family. Just today, I went to the grocery store. And when I went to check out, I discovered I had no money. My cards were declined. I am literally broke. Wait, how did you end up paying for all this food? That's just what I've been seeing. People are wonderful sometimes. There was this nice man in the line behind me and he paid for my grocery. Like he gave me the money. Wow. That's remarkable. What kind man? I gotta get that. Oh, hi, Greg. Mel, what is this man doing here? I invited him for dinner. I hope that's okay. Uh, I'm not sure what to say. This is the man that I told you about, the kind man that paid for my groceries. I thought the least I could do was invite him for dinner. You? You paid for my sister's groceries? Times are tough for people all around. I, I saw someone in desperate need. I, could, I couldn't just stand there and, and, and not do anything. You said it yourself. You said you're on a pension? That's barely enough. We all go through ups and downs in life. It, it's so much better when we look up for one another. Come on, you two. Let's eat. Hold on a second, though. I got something to say. What's that? Stan's a tenant in my building. And earlier today, I told him... That was earlier today, Greg. This is now. I'll find a way to get you the money I owe you. No, you don't understand. I want you to forget about it. I don't understand. Forget about what? <sighs> your, your rent this month is on me. All of it. <laughs> you don't have to do that. I'll find a way to get you the money back. Now, what you said was right. We all need help sometimes. We all need to look after for one another. Oh, Craig. 
<laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll need help someday, right? But now I'm in a situation where I can help someone. Things have been so hard for so long. I feel like I've been playing catch up for years. Thanks, Greg. No, I appreciate oh. it. My pleasure, Stan. Oh. Okay. Thanks for checking out our video. Hit that subscribe button for more videos every single week. And make sure to watch the next video here.